But I, can I just say that perhaps we should run the clips a little longer? <laughs> Why the hell cut off a perfectly good clip for me? I don't need to see me. I want to see that. Please welcome Lake Bell, everybody. Lake Bell. Lake, welcome to the show. How lovely to see What a lovely dress. Thank you so much. I hope it doesn't fall down. I, I wish I could join you in that, <laughs> but I can't. Well, I wanted to dress up for you, and it's Axel, Axel Rose's birthday. It is Axel Rose's. Are you a Guns N' Roses fan? Huge, huge fan. Really? Yeah. Are you, have you seen them recently? Um, no. They haven't been out recently. When's the last so. time they actually played anywhere? I, I'm, not, I'm not sure, but they were post, you know, there were posters all over my wall in, in school and stuff. I was. Are you a rock chick? Do you I, go and see the different rock shows, take your top off on your boyfriend's shoulders, all that? That is something that I don't do. Right, right. <laughs> but, I'd be glad to hear it. Another time. No, maybe, maybe, maybe later. There's still time to do it. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything on tonight. <laughs> um, um, I've got some juice at the Manolo show in Vegas. I could take you there. Oh, really? Great. Yeah, yeah. He's been friendly with me ever since he beat me at the Emmys. Right. <laughs> so tell me a bit about the movie. Do you play, you're, a, are you a, you're not a ghost no, in no, the no, movie. No, 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 but I, I have a, a very specific relationship with ghosts. Really? Yeah, in my life. Do you in real life? Can you, can you see ghosts in real life? No, I just, it's just that I, do, I don't like them. Oh. <laughs> scare me. <laughs> Do they scare you Yeah, ghosts? they scare me. I mean, when I, when I first moved into my apartment here in Los Angeles, it was this old apartment building, and part of its charm was that it had ghosts. You know? In L.A.? Yeah, oh yeah. How long has it been up? Ten years or something? <laughs> the 1920s, come on. Oh, you know, right, okay. Like old yeah. And um, when I first moved in there, you know, everyone told me that there were these ghosts. So when, you know, the first, I, I just sort of disregarded it. I was like, yeah. I don't believe in that stuff. That's right. And then I turned my lights off on the first night, and I was sort of looking around, and I never burned any sage or anything. So I well, that's there, yeah, right there. That I know. Was stupid. So, so I thought, yeah. I thought maybe I should just have a conversation with them. You know, I'm from New York. I can talk to anyone. You know. Mm -hmm. So I was like, Hey guys, you know, my name's Lake. Uh, I just signed a lease here. Um, <laughs> look, um, I'm not gonna be here all the time. So if you guys wanna, you know, throw a ghost party or <laughs> do ghosty things, you know. By all means, you know, do it, but, you know, just out of respect, when I come home, can you turn the TV off of the scary fuzzy channel or, you know, if you... Really That's like, their favorite thing they like I, to watch. Why That's that what they want. <laughs> what happens? You die, you go from watching American Idol to... <laughs> I know. Isn't that interesting? I don't know. Maybe it's just what you want to see. And, like, you. moving candelabras. Why is that fun? <laughs> Maybe they can't decide where the candelabra right. should be. You like, know the best thing to stop that? Don't have a candelabra. I know, you'd think. I have two of them in my house. Are you nuts? I know. That's like inviting ghosts into your house. I'm begging for it, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh dear, that is... That so is anyway, we've had a really great arrangement, so I kind of have a timeshare with my ghosts. So what, where are you the rest of the time, then? Um, New York. Oh, you, you, do you have they any... They don't have ghosts there. Oh, God. <laughs> They've got scary stuff, though. Yeah, they just walk along the streets, yeah, yeah. though, you know. And but... sometimes you get the occasional, you know, pee-pee smell. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> it's almost as if... People... Pee-pee there. <laughs> it feels that people feel comfortable to just pee on that street, don't they? <laughs> I don't think they're allowed to do it anymore. They used to... I miss old New York where you could pee wherever you wanted. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nowadays it's all cleaned yeah, up. Giuliani. It's like, yeah, no, whatever happened. Clean it up. I don't know. Have you been following this uh, the Super Tuesday thing a lot? Are you I, very political? Um, I, I'm, I'm political to the sense that I follow it. I think everyone should sort of follow it. I, I I'm not going to say who. I, you, right? no, you mustn't. I shouldn't, right? That's no, like, the secret ballot is the no, cornerstone yeah. of democracy. But it feels great, you know. It's such a great feeling. You go in there, right to vote. I love it. Yeah, well, me too. American, this is, this now you're American. We're yeah, all together. But you, you spent some time back in. Uh, in I did. I lived in, in Engl England. In England, it's I near Scotland. I, it's near. Yeah. Um, I lived in Sidcup. Oh dear. Which, yeah. That's that's not the best England has to offer. They I call have it to... the <laughs> they call it the armpit of England. I think that's being generous, to be honest. I mean, it's, yeah. yeah. I think it's the bit that you should really talk about of England. Well, look. I mean, I was there. I went to drama college there, and I, I lived above a chip shop. So, which is like fish and chips, you know? Yes. So, so, you know, I had the lovely and glamorous smell. Smell of, of, of fish fried fat and, coming and, up. And, and yes, Ooh, oil. You're and taking grief. me back now. I know. Yeah. 
so. They fry everything. You know, in Scotland, you can get fried pizza. Like they, no. you go, yes, they will go into. A, they will take frozen pizza and put it into a deep fat fry, fry. They will deep fat fat fry. <laughs> Yeah, my that. mouth is salivating so much I can't even say it. You love it. Hi, pizza. <laughs> no, I can't speak anymore. So it's good for you. It, it, well, it's no, I don't think it's good for no. you. No. No, yeah, they can't claim that. Do you think you would you would like to settle over there at any point? I, you know, perhaps not as high as that, but maybe yeah. you know. Yeah, no, I I love England. I miss it dearly, but I I don't. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I would, not in Sidcup, let me just put it that no, way. No, no, no. I mean, yeah, something like Notting Hill or something. Notting Hill. Yeah, yes. it's very expensive. Hugh Grant doesn't really live there as I well. Know. <laughs> also, I know. Also, you know, him. in real life, he's not that blinky. Oh, no? No, no, no. In the, you know, in the movies, he's like, oh, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> like, he's always blinky. Oh, I, I can't even see where I'm going. I'm so blinky. Like that. Well, in real life, he's like, hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> Very I'm disappointing. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm, that must yeah. have been disappointing yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah. Sad that. Yeah. I'd love to chat some more, but we're out of time. It's been oh. lovely to meet you. It's lovely to meet you, too. Link Bell, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Link Bell, everybody. Link Bell. How lovely to see you. It's lovely to see Are you. you it's, 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 you look fantastic. Thank I look you. very girly and frouncy. I know, I wanted to dance out. Did you? Well, go ahead, dance. All right. No, 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 okay. no, no, no. <laughs> Did you do any dancing when you were in Vegas? Well, we, you know, Vegas is always fun with... You know, the likes of Cameron and Ashton and all that jazz. And I we, don't know what no, it's like with know. Cameron and Ashton. Have they, not been, enough, have they been here? They have never invited me to hang out with them in Las Vegas. Oh, you got to do a movie with them, pal. Um, right yeah, I, I might. Uh, but what is no that? Oh, that's the interview questions. Oh, now, great. The, uh, <laughs> so you shot the whole thing in Las Vegas? Yeah, and actually we went go-karting. Um, there was a really funny story because basically... My dad is in race car driving. He, really? are, are, you race, are you a racer? No, uh, no, no, no. Is that... Is that a, no, no. Fast mobiles? No. For, no. Fast cars? No. Oh. I like so I like driving slightly below the speed limit. Oh. Okay. Really? I get in my minivan and I drive slightly below the speed limit. You're that guy. I'm the guy and people are like, ah, and I'm like, hey, we'll get there soon enough, everybody. <laughs> I'm that guy. So, so you know, we just got a, we had a lot of competitive people. Like Demi was there, and it was actually Demi, and they were kind of doing. It, and Cameron was racing, and my dad, I could just see my dad being like, "Come on, Lick, do me proud." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I, of course I wanted to get really competitive, so I wouldn't let Cameron pass me and all this stuff. And then finally, I mean, she's athletic. You don't mess with her. You know what I mean? Right. And she slammed me in the cart, and we went spinning off. And I was like, "All right, you win." Let me just, let me just see again very slowly. Cameron slammed you in the car. Because <laughs> I'm thinking, is that is that in the movie? Um, no, but there is an outtake where I did plant one on Cameron. Actually, really? hopefully you, it'll make it in the you, DVD. You 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 made out with Cameron Diaz? I mean, made out. I think is a little sort of. Fantastic. Yeah. It's a little fantastic. <laughs> is that the word you're looking for? It's not cr quite the right word. I mean, it was more sort of like, you know, like a smooch. Oh, okay. It was a smooch. It not was an impromptu smooch. Right. In the movie yeah. in my head, however, it's... Okay. Kind of like... <laughs> That's for you. That's, That's my little movie. Yes. Are you a gambler? Did you gamble when you were in Las Vegas? You know what? Uh, because Ashton and Demi were so good at it and everybody else had so much money to throw it... I, They've got a lot me. of money. They've got a lot of money. Well, it's just, you know, did, uh, the idea of sort of throwing my money at someone, you know, it's not I don't like it, appealing. you know, it doesn't appeal to me, I'm Scottish, so when they say, you know, you give us the money, and then we might give you some back, I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm like, why is that good again? That's not, why, this is entertainment? No. No, show me, a, give me a show or something, I'll give I you some know. money. Give me some food or a pair of pants. I know. But just money for maybe just, money back? No. It doesn't. Uh, no, yeah, it doesn't work it doesn't for me. Really, I like throwing the dice. I mean, that's why I like the interactiveness of it. Yeah, what about the uh, strip clubs? You go to the strip clubs? You know, you I did, just didn't. didn't I, you did so. You're like putting words in my mouth. No. You're like, you went to strip clubs. Well, I don't know. I've got, I'm feeling frisky tonight. It's my Friday night time. Woo! I... <laughs> No, but everybody at some point, I think, goes when they're in Las Vegas for any length of time, they say, let's go to a strip club. And everybody goes, oh, I'll be hilarious. Then you go and you go, I feel bad. And then you all have to leave. Well, I think it was, you know, for me being in Vegas, I mean, I'm vegan to begin with. So, Does I mean, that mean I, you're from Las we, Vegas? Then? No. <laughs> <laughs> I That's good. I like that. No, 
No, it, it means I eat vegetables. You eat vegetables. So it really doesn't fit in with the Las Vegas sort of debauchery, you know. Stri um, it's strip like, clubs, you can get vegetables in strip no. clubs. No, but no, what I'm saying is, is that <laughs> I... We were working there, and right. you know, I was trying to be healthy, and it's kind right. of ridiculous to try to be healthy there. In it Las Vegas, just, yeah. Yeah, you just want to eat steak and yeah. see boobs, you know? <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, but I, but I don't need to be in Vegas for that. Right. I, uh, I can be at home. Mm, steak and boobs. Ah, I'm good. Right. I think when I became an American citizen, it kind of just suddenly clicked for me. I suddenly went, steak, steak and boobs. boobs. That's my thing. <laughs> from now on. And if you don't like that, go and join Al-Qaeda, I thought to myself. <laughs> Freedom. No, so you're, no, tell me about being a vegan. Is that, or a, well, a, no, no. a vegan or a ve vegan? I say vegan. Do you say vegan? Uh, maybe. I'm not really sure. It's a tomato tomato thing. Right, you know okay. I mean? So I'm I really think sure. I'll say it the way you say it. How do you say it? Vegan. Vegan, yeah, that's what I say. Okay, good. Um, no, it was hard being vegan there because obviously we don't have to like dwell. I guess it's kind of boring to be no, vegan. No, no, no. But, but, but what do you, like, if you go to a dinner party or something, do you have to phone ahead and say, please don't. Um, I stopped doing that. The people didn't appreciate that. But uh, you can call ahead to the restaurant and say, I just want to let you know. I'm coming in. Right. Vegan. It's the vegan again. Right. right. Um, it's just, it's one of those things. It's a growing thing, though, because we've had a lot of uh, people on the show who are who are vegans. It seems to be taking over. I, the, the vegans are taking the over? The vegans are taking over the planet, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, it's just healthy. I don't know. But, you know, being in Vegas, they have all you can eat, but it's like everything that I can't eat. Right. And the vegetables are kind of like mirages. They're not real vegetables. They taste like... Air, silicone. It's just all That's fake there. Air and silicone. Yeah. You're they're... talking my language now. And we come full circle to the. Uh, yeah. Stick and move. Yeah, yeah. It's lovely to see you, Lake. Come back and see Thank us you. anytime you like. And congratulations on the Thank movie. Thank you very much. The lovely Lake Bell, everybody. Right there. Thank you. Lovely. Thank it's you. not a real tattoo. I thought for a minute you'd had it done. Unfortunately, I really wanted to have it done. Actually, I thought it was really cool. I got really used to it. I was. We I would wear it. I would make sure to schedule a really cool dinner or party or something with like your the, tattoo. Yeah, because it would last like a They're day. They're not that difficult to get if you want one. You know, I mean, you, you can. I got tons of them. You're tatted. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. There's one right there. Jeez. I got with you. Yeah, Let over. me see that. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah. And this is. This, this is quite painful, all of this, right? No, here. just that bit there is painful. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I got a really big one. Watch out. It's. Um, oh, yeah, look at that. See, can we get a shot of that? Squint. Whoa, that must have been agony getting that sucker on. <laughs> it's really hard. Whoa. It's really hard. Man, well, wait. when did you commit? Because wait. it was like, oh, how's that going to look when I'm 17? Hold, hold the wire because I did it myself. You did? Yeah. Oh, you're Thank actually you. quite kind of cool now. Right? That's a different thing. And I was 14, not to give an example. No, that's a terrible no, thing. No, we would never advocate yeah, the idea of uh, self-tattooing on teenagers. That's something you should do. But I did, and it was great. <laughs> that's, that's, why did you, what is well, it? It's a dot. Were you in the <laughs> dot gang or something? <laughs> it's, it's like a We'll be the dot gang. We'll all go over here and have dots. <laughs> No, there's still girls at my boarding school who haven't, because I had like a little. I, I gave some tattoos to people. You were a tattoo artist. I basically a tattoo artist. In boarding school. You. Yeah, like that's. Was this a young girls' prison? <laughs> <laughs> or it was a genuine yes. board? A, a real boarding school? No, it's not. It's not it's, it wasn't a prison. It was. It, it was, was like a, a boarding school. No, it wasn't a prison. Okay. It was a boarding school. It was like. Um, it was pretty preppy too, so it was. It was kind of funny to be like the one tattoo, the tattoo artist. artist. Yeah. yeah. I did some piercings too. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't know that, huh? Yeah, I'm kind of impressed. It's Thank very you. broken. I'm what? wearing leather. I mean, I, I noticed <laughs> that. <laughs> Piercings, leather, yeah. tattoos. I mean, I barely have ear my ears pierced. Were you Were you in a band? Um, no, I did theater. Uh. <laughs> but that's not quite. Do you see a psychiatrist? Yes. <laughs> do you? I do, and yes, yes, ah. I Is do. your telephone turned off? Um, I don't even have room for it on this. Ah. So. <laughs> but. But yeah, no, I see a therapist. I'm I'm in support of that. Yeah, no, I know. I'm okay with therapy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if I would, didn't go to therapy, I'd be even worse. 
Um, no, I mean, I grew up in New York City, and my family, are, it's all very um, complicated coming out in Christmas. Yeah. Um, and, um, and so I, have, I think I grew up with a lot of, like, confusing stuff. So. It's, and the complicated movie, are you part of the complication? I'm definitely a part of the complication. Oh, well, yeah. I think I am, I am, I am, yes, yes. You're I, the complicated, you're yes. the... I mean, do you see the tattoo? I mean... Yeah, well, I see, I think sometimes people have tattoos uh, because they are not complicated. Oh, dear. <laughs> No, what, what, why, why are you complicated? Are you Alec Baldwin's... Uh... I'm, I play his new wife. Right. And uh, allegedly... Meryl Streep's his, his, his ex-wife. His ex-wife. And I, my character was the one that he cheated on, and therefore... Oh. It's delicate. Ah, yeah, yeah. that's... So I'm like... Uh, ooh, that's... Yeah, yeah and then she's ooh, trying to get pregnant. Ooh, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. I can do that for a long time. Yeah, I like doing that. <laughs> yeah, ooh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> My brother and I used to do that. My, the, my yeah. son does it all the time. Well, like and a half time, like, it drives me nuts. He's like, ah, ah, ah. like <laughs> knock that off. It makes you look like you're a crazy kid. He's like, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, and no. then you come on the show and you do that. Then I do like, it for Daddy. a living. He's like, yeah, go, come on. Um, <laughs> so uh, tell me about the uh, working with the, uh, the the Meryl Streeps, for heaven's sake. That must have been I, terrific. You know, and Alec Baldwin, of course. Yeah, I mean, she's barely in the movie. You know, it's more of my movie. Just kidding. That's not true at all. All right. <laughs> um, it was, I, I got to I got to because she's the, she's the pinnacle for all actresses, she, yeah, isn't she? Yeah, she is. And, and so you try to be cool when you get there. You think, okay, let's just take a deep breath. It's going to be okay. I'm gonna... My first scene was with Meryl, Alec, Steve, all of them. And my character's supposed to be quite high status, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, I got there, and I just... Uh, you feel like your, your heartbeat coming out of your, your neck. heart, Your heart's in your neck? Yes. You, you know when you get it's really... It's not a psychiatrist you need. You need a, a, a proper doctor. A cardiologist this is a, or something. Yeah, I mean, a, yeah. a, a heartiologist. A hearty, something like that. A yeah. hearty, hearty, yeah. A hearty neck it's Something in like that. Thing. Um, and did the yeah. other actors, did they say, oh, look, her neck's bulging? <laughs> did they do all that? <laughs> oh, look, it's neck bulging. I don't want to act with it. That's... <laughs> exactly like Steve Martin. You were doing Steve Martin there, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Perfect, to a T, to a T. Do you know what's funny about Steve Martin? Well, many things are funny about Steve Martin, but he Indeed. was the first celebrity I met in America when I moved here to Los Angeles. W and how was that? Was that good? <laughs> or... No, it was actually, oh, okay, he was good. very, very nice to me. And I thought, all these people in Hollywood, this is a pack of lies, they're all very nice. And then I didn't meet another nice person for about 10 years <laughs> after that. <laughs> he's really nice. He's, he's like, very I mean, pleasant. That yeah, entire group was great. I think it wasn't really there. It was more my problem. You know, Nancy, Nancy Myers was kind of like, Bubby, Bubby. Nice man, the director. Yeah, the director, sorry. What did she, she call you? Bubby. She calls you Bubby? Yeah, it's like Bubby. Your name's uh, not Bubby, is it? No, 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 I'm not Bobby. It's, it's like Bubba, Bubba, Bubby, oh. Bubby. And she was like, what's, 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 you seem nervous. I'm like, I'm fine, I'm, I'm really nervous. I'm very nervous, what do I do? She's like, you need to, you need to come back. You need to come back, because you got to be high status. So I just thought of, like, superheroes and Angelina Jolie. <laughs> <laughs> what you got to do? You, I sometimes think of Angelina Jolie, too. <laughs> <laughs> Usually when I'm talking to my psychiatrist. <laughs> Listen, we're out of time, but uh, oh. but it's lovely to see you again, and congratulations Thank on you. this movie. I'm sure it's going to I be an enormous, uh, enormous, lovely hit. Lake Bell, everybody. We were right back. <laughs>